Hello everyone, today we are going to extract the boundaries of an object like you are viewing uh, this apple and the boundary image of this apple. Uh, today we are going to achieve this task using a morphological operation erosion. So before getting started, let's try to understand what is the basic formula for extracting the boundaries of an image. Uh, well basic uh, formula for extracting the boundaries uh, from an image is a minus a erode b where b is a structuring element uh, it could be a shape of disk this is a very basic uh, morphological operation where most of the other morphological operations are based on so without wasting any time let's create a um, clean workspace uh, so that we are able to uh, do our work and uh, first uh, step in this is to load an image and we are going to load over uh, image that we had used in this uh, uh, tutorial series and uh, if you haven't watched my uh, first uh, few lectures about the basic image processing so you may need to watch the playlist and uh, get familiar with other MATLAB image processing uh, functions like uh, color segmentation I had deal with the color segmentation in my project of finger counting I had used morphological operations as well so you may need to check out those videos as well the link could be in the description or in the I card uh, button so after uh, loading the image what we are going to do next is to convert this image into a grayscale so to convert this image into a gray scale uh, what we need to do is to call the uh, uh, rgb to gray function and uh, here is the image if you are not sure how it looks like this is an, a nice looking apple image uh, to convert this image into binary i am going to do a quick uh, thresholding uh, on this uh, image and uh, all I have to do is to apply I uh, need all the pixels that have value less than let's say 220 and uh, now if you see this uh, image it will be a pure binary image oh the, it contains a lot of other information as well so try to reduce uh, the value here and uh, let's say I need a 150 value now if you see uh, up on the image it have only the apple no any other uh, object of the background so now now we have our desired object and uh, in our case it is an apple and we want to extract the boundary of this apple the first step is to apply is the arrow uh, create a structuring element we can create a structuring element uh, with the help of a function uh, strl uh, well uh, if you type a uh, help on this function you will get a little description about this function which a matlab documentation says it says that uh, well let's scroll up and see what it says it says that morphological it is strel function to create morphological structuring elements so if you need to apply a structuring on or doing do a morphological operation this function will create you a structure uh, this is uh, all the <clears throat> type of uh, shapes that you can create from and uh, this function uh, one is a diamond and a disc uh, uh, the diamond creates a flat diamond shaped structuring element with the specified size r uh, and the disc shape create a flat disc shaped structuring element if you don't uh, if this doesn't make sense to you don't worry uh, we will see how it looks when we do it in real applications uh, just like we are going to do uh, in this tutorial so let's say se1 is equal to strel and we want to a disk shape structuring element and we need let's say um a four and by two let's suppose okay um sorry the n must be a uh, zero so now if you see this it is a uh, a structure of contained two objects and neighborhood and dimensionality and uh, if uh, the over desired uh, matrix is uh, under the neighboring 
neighborhood uh, and it is look like this so now you can see it is a nice looking disk uh, shape matrix of one and zeros and uh, it is uh, actually a total replica of uh, four and uh, let's try to change uh, some variable in here like say let's say we need a uh, um, eight of zeros and now if we see it will be actual replica of eight uh, by eight so it will our uh, uh, midline and one two three four five six seven eight eight columns here and one two three four five six seven eight eight columns here and one midline of all ones so that's the process of creating a structuring element now what to do is uh, let's change this uh, structuring element back to four and oh i always miss this and uh, the zero and two and uh, okay so the next thing to do is to apply this structuring element to the a uh, binary image that we just get uh, uh, with our thresholding of 150 i guess and uh, let's uh, uh, take and uh, erode image and uh, the erode okay we will call it erode x just to uh, the naming convention should be uh, consistent with the previous naming convention we did and uh, all we need to do is m erode and uh, we need to feed a uh, first binary image and after that the structuring element we just created uh, so it will create a erode image if you are curious to look into what this image looks like here is how this image of uh, eroded version looks so as you can see it is a kind of uh, you may see that this looks a uh, much very similar with the original image uh, but if you are uh, if you want to see the image side by side you will uh, get the uh, or you may able to notice the change and uh, okay so here you already see that it all draws some kind of boundary with that difference uh, if you want to see the difference uh, uh, really side by side or a uh, montage uh, looks it will are uh, these different so basically what it does it removes all boundary from this image okay so what erosion do is are uh, it removes uh, it takes the structuring element and apply to outer boundaries and remove that boundaries so if we subtract these two images we will get only the boundaries not any other thing okay so uh, that's what we are going to do uh, or what we are going to do is we are going to remove the image from the uh, original binary uh, eroded image from the original binary image so the bound x uh, over uh, image will contain only the boundaries and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to subtract bind x and uh, the uh, uh, image of the uh, eroded x so now if we see this uh, boundary image it will be only the boundary of the image so if we get back to the formula a is over binary x image uh, it is minus from it is subtracted from the eroded image so ero a or which is the, or the image of the original binary image is eroded to a structuring element in our case it's uh, created a, a disk shape so if you are curious if you uh, do a little thicker uh, structuring element let's say a 16 or a 8 let's try first 8 first okay so and uh, redo the erosion and uh, reapply the subtraction again and uh, now if you display this boundary image you will notice the change that the boundary is now more thicker so that's the way to get the boundary of your desired thickness
so if you change the or if you thicken or you extend the structuring element you will get more thick boundary and if you uh, lower the value you will get a weaker boundary thickness so if you want to remove uh, this one which is the inner side of this apple and if you are only concerned about the outer space what you need to do is you need to some uh, do some pre-processing on your binary image okay so you need to remove uh, this hole from your apple so how you can do this there are a bunch of ways uh, doing this but uh, let's try uh, m fill holes and uh, M fell and apply binary X and holes I guess the syntax is correct and uh, okay so syntax is correct and uh, now if we display this uh, second binary image of X you will see that we have a pure apple with no holes in it and uh, now if we apply this uh, structuring element and uh, uh, we do the erosion uh, for, for the second binary image and uh, we will again subtract this uh, from the second filled hole and we will call it boundary x2 and if we display this image you will notice that you get only the outer boundary of your apple so that's the way of creating the boundaries and if you want to display this image side by side along alongside with your original color image you can do this with the image show pair function and you can display your first image and the second image and after that how you want to see these two images and the montage will show you a side by side version and that's how it looks like and for the second image it will be like this so that's all for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i had explained you how to extract the boundaries from an apple or any object of your desired binary image the process is simply doing the erosion with your disk shape and after that subtracting from the original image so this will get a trick this will do the trick of extracting the boundaries although there is a built-in function of uh, doing this which is a BW boundaries uh, which will extract the boundary uh, if you are curious to uh, look into that uh, function it will um, like this uh, BW boundaries function and if you uh, give uh, your binary image and let's say x2 it will extract the boundaries from that image so that boundary will be like this so uh, to draw this boundary you need to uh, plot these uh, things onto that image i will leave this exercise to you and uh, you try this out uh, look into the help function and i will get back to you in with an other video uh, where i explain this process somehow if you don't figure it out by yourself i will explain it to you leave a comment if you face any errors or you have found any difficulty understanding anything so i can explain it in my next video like this and share and comment so that's all for today's video don't forget to subscribe thank you so much